Welcome to our devotional today on cultivating contentment, learning to be content in all circumstances. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and dissatisfied in a world that constantly seeks more. Yet God calls us to a different standard, one of contentment and trust in his provision. Paul in Philippians 4 11, 13 NKJV beautifully articulates this saying, not that I speak in regard to need for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Here Paul isn't dismissing the reality of our needs or desires but pointing us to the source of true contentment, our relationship with Christ through whom we find strength in every circumstance. For a biblical example of contentment, let's consider the story of Paul himself. Beyond the verses in Philippians, Paul's life was a testament to contentment in Christ amidst various trials. He faced imprisonment, beatings, shipwrecks, and constant danger, 2 Corinthians 11 23, 28, yet remained joyful and content in his mission to spread the gospel. Paul's secret to contentment lay in his unwavering faith in Christ's power and presence, regardless of his physical circumstances. His life encourages us to focus on our spiritual journey and the eternal hope we have in Christ, rather than our earthly situations. This story challenges us to reflect on our own lives. Are we seeking contentment in material possessions, status or achievements? Or are we, like Paul, finding our joy and satisfaction in our relationship with Christ and the eternal promises he offers? As we ponder on Paul's example and teachings, let's aim to cultivate a heart of contentment, trusting that God is in control, believing that he will provide for our needs and finding our ultimate satisfaction in him. Lord, we thank you for the example of Paul, who despite many hardships, showed us how to live a life of contentment in you. Help us to remember that our joy and satisfaction come not from the things of this world but from our relationship with you. Teach us to be content in whatever circumstances we find ourselves, knowing that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. In Jesus' name, amen. If you're inspired to seek deeper contentment and faith in God, I encourage you to explore further at livingwordapp.com, discover resources, and join a community that supports each other in living out the teachings of the Bible in our daily lives. Thank you for joining us in this reflection on cultivating contentment. May you find peace and satisfaction in Christ no matter the circumstances. God bless you.